get a full spectrum of, a, of emotional response from music. Right. You know, if you see visual, that's one thing. And, and you know, you get responses from that. <laughs> if you read print, you know, it, it conjures up pictures and um, ideals. And if you see painting, you know, gives you. But music, <clears throat> another thing, I mean, like, it's audio. And it gives you all of these, just a full spectrum of emotions you get from actual notes. And depending upon how well the performance is rendered, it could take you, takes you places where none of these other art forms take you. When you see a, a, a virtuoso performance, violinist, guitarist, drummer, bass player, penis. It's like watching an actor in a movie. But he's speaking, the actor's speaking words and you see visual. The musician is playing notes and these notes affect you a certain way. And how he renders the notes take that effect even to a different level. It's like music is, I mean, and then you can be affected without seeing any musician, but just hearing a performance, you know, on this new CD. I went back to what um, we were doing back in the 70s. Really? Um, I think it was that, I just tried to capture what, what made me feel good back then. I haven't put out a personal musical statement in 10 years. It's raw and man, it, we had a, ball. It was really fun doing it. I mean, it's, it's great. I'm looking forward to it. And, and uh, you know, I produced records and, you know, played on other people's records. And, you know. and the other thing is that, like, I've been making a lot of quote-unquote jazz records lately, so I wanted to not do that. I wanted to do something that was just, you know, just making some music. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> it was fun. I'll put you this way. Name of the album is Anomaly. <laughs>